If you would like to know how to properly upload videos on YouTube, then stay tuned. Watch this short video as I show you how. Hi, I am Anand, founder of MentorStube.com, and welcome to the site. Now, in this tutorial video, I will first start by showing you how to upload videos on YouTube using built-in drag and drop interface. Under channel settings, we will look at default upload settings for video uploads. After that, we will look at how to properly title your videos for SEO purposes, and then we are gonna look at what description you should give for your videos how to properly set them i will also show you how to set up time coded video transcript inside our video description so that if a viewer wishes to watch video when the time is two minutes and six frames he can directly click over here and the video will take him directly to 206 can you see this then i will show you how to properly categorize your videos according to the category which your video belongs like uh, there are a bunch of categories which YouTube provides like from autos and vehicles to travel and events so choosing the right category is very important I will show you that then as part of uploading comes I will also show you how to upload multiple videos at the same time so that you get to upload all your videos with just one click and not have to sit and wait to upload each videos one after other. Then we will see how to upload custom thumbnails for your videos. Last but not least, I will also be showing you how to upload your videos from your phone by emailing to your unique email address which YouTube provides. Okay, let's head over to our desktop screen. Okay, for you to upload videos on YouTube, all you need to do is click on this upload button just click on it mm -hmm. and now it's gonna take you to your gmail login so don't worry about it because google and youtube are connected so if you own a gmail account then you can log in directly to youtube so now i have got my gmail account so let me tap in my gmail.com then the password and then i say sign in so now here is the upload page of youtube this is called YouTube drag and drop interface. So this folder of mine here, it holds some of my videos which I want to upload. So first of all, let's say I want to upload this video. It's named FB1. I just have to grab it, holding my left click, and then just drag it and drop it over here. And it will start uploading. So now this was the part for uploading videos. Okay, so now you come to know how to upload videos on YouTube. But before you upload any videos, I want to set upload defaults. So what is upload default? Upload defaults is when you click on your channel name and then go to video manager and then under channel settings, below monetization is named defaults. Okay, just click on it and it's gonna take you here on this page. This is your upload defaults. Now what upload default means is that if you want a message to be uploaded automatically to all your future videos which you upload so you can display a, a set of message to all your uploads okay let's say if you have some message or something which you want to be present in in every description of your videos which you upload then you can set it under upload defaults description and leave it there and it's gonna be present inside each and every single video which you upload on your channel uh, if you see mine here first of all i have set my default privacy to public whenever i upload a video i want its privacy to be public and then the category since my productions are all how to and style videos so i have chosen a default category so that i don't have to set a category for my individual videos okay and then licensing there are two types of license and i want my license to be standard youtube license and then title i left it blank but if you if you want you can set a default title okay let's say you said how to so if all your videos are started by like how to download, how to change, how to do, how to eat, okay? So it's how to will be present always so that whenever you upload a video, you won't have to type how to, it will be there for you, okay? And yes, obvious, you can override all these default settings. Now I have a bunch of messages like here, like my, uh, my social profiles, like I have a Facebook page and then I have my website. And then I have my Twitter account. I have my Google Plus page. Okay, so I want all these, these, uh, these my these connections of my 
my my my brand to be present in every videos video description so i just copied it here all those urls now whenever i upload a video i don't have to go and copy and paste all these things i have to type it because it's gonna be there for me in the description that's default talk about tags you can choose a default tag like let's say how to because all your videos start from how to videos so you can set a tag to how to comments do you want to allow comments yes all do you want to monetize your videos with ads like let's say if you uh, have youtube partnership then you can say uh, like every video I, I upload just monetize it caption certification i says my my captions are never aired on us do you want to show edit suggestion yes of course you want and then hey this is this is the one video statics just untick this box okay make video statics on watch page publicly visible no i don't want other people to know where my traffic my video views are coming from so i have unchecked this so every time i upload a video by default its statics will not be available for public view and say save that's it now i'm gonna show you an example where i'm gonna upload a video and i'm not going to type anything and but all these things will be present there okay so let's go to channel my channel and then let's click on upload okay there we go okay uh, so here is the video which i want to upload fb2 i take it i drag it and drop it here and see what guess what guys how to is there you see and then my connections my social connections is there for me my default tags are how and to they are there you see and uh, if you go under monetization my, my i don't want to monetize right away so it's not checked and then when you go under advanced settings here you find my categories are how to and style by default yeah you see youtube provides so many categories but why only how to and style is there because i have set it to my default okay and then here video statics this thing is unchecked so you see you got my point okay so guys first of all i am assuming that you guys know what keywords are so if you don't know go ahead and watch that video how to do keyword this so now if you see this video okay here what my title says is how to change youtube username 2014 easy and simple and then i'm saying must watch recommended so like if you go here and go to youtube and then this is the keyword i'm targeting is how to change youtube username when you go there you're going to find these three videos and below this video is my video is how to change youtube username now what i want you to do is read the titles how to change youtube username june 2014 how to change youtube username 2014 tutorial how to change youtube username 2014 update how to change youtube username 2014 easy and simple must watch recommended so if you are a user think from your head which video is you are likely to click is mine because this video's title is is far much more clear the message is far much more clear and it's saying that it's easy simple and it's recommended so people are going to click on it and watch it so i will get a bonus in watching as compared to all all these these three the other thing is is my keyword there yes my keyword which i am i'm targeting is how to change youtube username and it's there and it's is in the very first so this is how you write a title and now if you click show more you will see all my my description and you see look at my description it's saying this is the publishing date and then diy tip how to change youtube username easy and simple must watch recommended now when the video is playing it starts from 00 okay now what you can do is you can show you impo uh, show important informations on your in your video okay let's say if a uh, your user wants to watch the video exactly at 1 minute and 51 seconds what he can do is just click on it and it will take him directly to that point in the video you see here so the point is how do you do this so let me show you how you do it so let me go back to my video manager let me edit Okay so if you have closed captioned your videos then under subtitles and closed caption it will show you so if i click on this language english language it will show me what i have captioned so all what you got to do is is just click on actions and then the under download 
these are formats vtt.srt.spv so i choose srt okay so just click on it and it will prompt it will download and just open it it's just a notepad file just open it there and then go to your info and system under basic info the inside description just paste it there okay like i did i just pasted it here and what it will it will give you this nice clickable you know link type okay guys so now let's talk about how you guys gonna upload multiple videos at the same time well, uploading multiple videos is very very simple all you need to do is click on upload button and when you go here i'm having all three my three videos okay which i want to upload so for me to upload them all i have to do is i just have to highlight all of them then grab them and just drag and drop here and what you will see is it will start uploading automatically so like video one is uploading while second one is skewed the third one is also queued so i don't have to manually come and uh, when one video upload finishes i have to command another video to upload i don't have to do that since i have given a command one time okay okay guys so now i want to talk about custom thumbnails what are they so you see if you visit this video if you click on edit and then here when you go here you will see this these are thumbnails which youtube have provided three of them okay and then this is the one which i have made myself for my video okay so though in this video i'm not going to tell you how to make thumbnails but if you want you can watch the video and is in my channel okay just watch the video how to cre create a custom thumbnail and then you will get how to create it so what i really want to talk about is how you upload your custom thumbnails okay so let me go to my other video like this is one of my videos the newest one without any title proper title when i just click on here edit and then i'll get this option youtube will by default give me three custom thumbnails as suggestions okay so either i can choose one of them and uh, set them as thumbnails okay or i have an option to upload a, a maximum maximum size of 2 mb size should be 1280 by 720 this is your resolution so i just have to click custom thumbnails and wherever i have de des designed my custom thumbnail i just have to choose it and upload it okay guys so now here comes the interesting part okay so now if you want to upload your videos through your mobile how do you do that well you just have to send an mms to your unique youtube email id your youtube channel email id which youtube provides okay to you so where do you find that email id for that you just have to click on your channel name then go to youtube settings when you click on youtube settings it will take you by default to your accounts overview and there under name here is it says mobile uploads okay and this blah 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 at the rate m.youtube.com this is your mobile email address okay so it says upload videos from your phone by emailing this address okay so all you can do is directly just give an email okay to to this email address from your mobile phone and your video will get uploaded automatically so there you go that's how you do it as always i would like to thank you for watching this video till the end if you could like and share and favorite this video that would be really great and if you haven't left a comment feel free to leave a comment below you are free to ask your questions or just anything ask me about anything so that i can help you and even if you don't have a question you can always leave a comment below and say hi to me and make sure you click the subscribe button so that you get updated whenever i publish a new video once again i would like to thank you for subscribing and i look forward to see you on my subscriber list